Hello, my lovely Samaritans. Today, I'm gonna give you an idea of what you can make for your lovey on Valentine's Day. It's coming up, so we need to get our ideas together, y'all. Here's just one idea. I'm gonna see if I can execute it. No judgy, okay? Okay. But if you're all about love, and you just love love, or you just love to see me struggle. Did I just get sauce in my eye? Baby doll, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that bell so you never miss any dope uploads. First, we gotta head to the store to get some supplies. Then, we can get the cooking. Let's go. Okay. Do you see Rokota cheese? What? Rokota cheese. What is the cheese at? Where the cheese at? Oh, it's ricotta cheese. I thought it was called ricotta cheese. What cheese do I use? I thought it was ricotta cheese. They don't have ricotta cheese? Ranchero. What is that? Oh, I found the ricotta cheese. Ricotta cheese. I thought you said cut ricotta cheese. What is a ricotta cheese? I don't know. That's what I was thinking. Fire. Make that. What you thinking that for? Mozzarella cheese. Mm -hmm. I could just get like the regular ones and the bag. It's just gonna go on the top. Ooh, it's gonna be $1.99. Yes, please. Got it. Right. Um, what else we need? For a romantic dinner. No. Yes. No, it's not romantic dinner. Just dinner. It's Valentine's Day. It has to be romantic. Boo. No romantic. Oh! You are such I'm a walking hitter. you guys. I'm walking you in my room and Chris in the other room, so you guys can't kiss on our Look, day. she don't want us to touch or kiss or nothing, but yet she wants a sibling. How Adopt. does that happen? Adopt. No. Oh, you were saying that now. You weren't saying that before. I said adopt. No, you didn't. Or you a lie. You a lie. You make us a lie, Craig. Okay. I don't lie. She lying. I want a sibling. I'm like, how do you expect us to do that if we can't touch? I said, Something else. what did I say? Adopt. You said that I now. I said that in a time. No, you I didn't. Just said that many times. Whatever. Okay, we need some prego. We need this. A lot of people use tomato sauce, but I'm going to use prego because it's the same thing. It's like spaghetti, right? I don't know how much I'm going to need, so I'm going to get the big one. I hope they have like this size. In the traditional, oh, it's right here. There we go. We'll get that. We need some noodles. Remember, you said you wanted some brownies. I do need brownie mix, but not in the cup. A lot of you just mix. want that for yourself. It's not about you. Oh, I need this for the dessert edition. For the meat, you can use turkey. You can use ground beef. You can use chicken. I think I want to do some ground turkey okay i think we have everything we have the noodles we have the meat we have the sauce we have the cheeses i think we're good to go and for my next video i'm gonna do a dessert because this one might be too long i got all the stuff for that too so i think we're good you ready to go we got everything you got stuff for school all right all right let's get to the line okay First thing we need to make our lasagna is we need to get our pan and our pot of water. Let's go ahead and put that water on for our noodles. We're gonna sprinkle a little salt to help that boil. While we're letting that boil, now we're gonna go ahead and start our turkey meat. You can use whatever meat you want. Some people use ground beef. Some people prefer ground chicken. I prefer ground turkey. It's a little healthier for you, easier for you to digest and get down. You know, sometimes that beef be sticking in you for seven days before you digest it, and we don't got seven days to digest. We need it to digest now. Even though the circuit is gonna make its own oil, I'm still gonna add a little bit of olive oil to the pan. Here it's sizzling. I got the new wooden utensils. You guys should be so proud of me. I'm being so responsible. Not 
scratching up my pans and my skillet. Get your girls growing. I'm growing. Go ahead and put this. Get nice golden brown. I know there's a lot of different ways to make lasagna. This is just my way. Please don't grill me in the comments. This is my easy way of making it. I'm not a chef. I never claim to be. This is just my take on a romantic dinner for my baby. That's it. If you guys want to try it, let me know down in the comments how you know how it came out, how you like it. Or let me know in the comments what you would have did differently. I'm all for suggestions and stuff like that. Because there's no one way of doing things. You do you make your food to your tasting. I saw some girls when they make lasagna. They add egg and onions and peppers and bell peppers and onions. I don't eat onions. I don't eat mushrooms. So I'm not going to put that in my lasagna. I'm going to make it to my taste. And that's all you do. There's no wrong way of doing this. Just make sure you cook your meat all the way through. You know what I mean? I like this little wooden thing. It's pretty cool. Get that brown. Let's get our noodles. Our lasagna noodles. We're gonna put these noodles on. Not gonna cook them all the way. We're gonna leave them a little al dente. Al dente meaning not fully cooked. Because if it's fully cooked and then you put your stuff in the pan and then you put it in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes, your noodles gonna be soggy. We don't want no soggy noodles. That's unattractive. That's not romantic at all. We don't want nothing soggy, no noodles, no nothing. Am I right? Can I get an amen? Amen. I mean, it's done. I don't want to have the noodles in there yet. Okay, we gotta drain these. I need to drain my meat. That don't sound right. I need to drain my meat. The oil is drained. We need to turn this heat down. Okay, so I know, I know, lasagna is called for tomato sauce. Is there a difference if I use prego? I mean, lasagna is a pasta. I use this prego for spaghetti, which is a pasta. So it should work, right? Because I like the way this tastes. I don't know what marinara this sauce tastes like. That reminds me of pizza. I don't want marinara. On my meat. I want Soprago, so this is what I'm gonna use. I used it before because I made lasagna before and it tasted good to me. So this is what we're gonna do. Pour some on there. Just let our meat just marinate all that Prego goodness. Did I just get sauce in my eye? Hold on. Okay, I'm good. Okay, come on, so I'm still boiling. So Prego has a lot of sodium already, so we're not gonna add too much salt, but we are gonna add a little bit of seasoned salt, Lowry seasoned salt, garlic powder, not garlic salt, because you guys know what I said about garlic salt. It can cut your artery, so garlic powder. I'm gonna just put a little bit of Cajun seasoning because I just like the way Cajun seasoning tastes and it gives a little bit of that's what you want. Okay, we need some pepper. Black pepper. There we go. Why right, is bubbling like that? Okay, we need to turn it down some more. Just gonna mix that in. I'm gonna put some oil over it. Let it simmer. Babe did get me some new pots with lids for Christmas, but I haven't bust those out yet. So until then, we gonna stick to our ghetto foil until we wash our new pots and pans. But we didn't do that, so we're not gonna do that right now. We got other things to do, like put our pastas in this boiling the water. I'm not sure how many pieces I'm gonna need, so I'm gonna just take half. Just set it in the water. Good. I'm gonna let that go ahead and boil for about eight minutes. It should not be cooked all the way. And then I'm gonna take it out and put it in my pan because we don't need it to be soggy. Our noodles are done. Not all the way done, but you know what I mean. 
We're gonna take them out and let them dry. A napkin for a little bit. Ooh, that's hot. I'm not even gonna use all these, but better to have more than not enough. Right, babe? Yeah. See? I told you. So I'm going to be using this pot that my mother got me for Christmas. It's a Hell's Kitchen brand, which I love. She know I love me some Gordon Ramsay. It's a casserole, this. I said casserole, how you say it? Casserole. <laughs> casserole casserole dish but who said you can't make lasagna out of it is lasagna a casserole lasagna ain't no damn casserole but we're gonna make it a casserole today we're gonna use this for a lasagna it's a pretty color think mom i'm gonna put the oven on 350. we're gonna take some of this prego sauce we look had left over and coat the bottom because when we put the noodles in we don't want the noodles to burn on the bottom of the pan you closer come on closer get a closer okay now we can start laying our noodles oh it's like perfect fit see lasagna casserole that's what i'm gonna call it lasagna casserole because we're making lasagna in the casserole dish boom okay i brought it over here to the counter so that you guys can see better Got my ricotta cheese. I've seen people put a mixture, make a mixture out of this cheese also. They added like Parmesan, egg, salt and pepper, basil, mix it up, make a little mixture. I normally don't do that. I normally just put it on there just like this. But that might be good. I might wanna try it. Let me see if I have basil. Come on, basil. This is like dry basil. You're supposed to have fresh basil when you do it, I think. I don't know if I'm gonna do this. Oh, I don't want it to be nasty. It's supposed to be romantic, not nasty. Okay, I'm just gonna do it my way. Okay, let me see. Okay, let me see. 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 Let if you guys want, you can leave the link in the description so you guys can get you some wooden utensils too. That might have been a lot of cheese, but we like cheese. We're a cheese family. So, I don't think I can do no wrong. Add a little extra cheese. Okay, now we got a layer of cheese. I'm going to add a little bit of mozzarella cheese. Mozzarella cheese in there. Ooh. Now we add some more meat and sauce mixture. Like I said, there's many different ways you can make lasagna. Some people put sausage in their mixture and mix it with their ground beef or their turkey meat, but we don't do all that. It's, this is a simple. We are very simple people, so we're gonna keep it simple, baby doll. Let me get some more noodles. And we're just gonna stack it again. And repeat the process. Speaking of Valentine's Day, I was thinking about what was uh, me and hubby's first Valentine's Day. And our first Valentine's Day, what did we do? We did, oh, okay, I remember what we did. He took me to, what was it called? Something Pebble Springs? Something, I don't know. It was. A facility who had nothing but hot tubs you can like reserve a little area and you had your own private hot tub but it was overlooking the city it was private so you couldn't see anyone on the side of you but you can see out in the distance and you saw like um like the mountains and it was beautiful scenery and that was our first valentine's day and i was just like man like he just went all out for me he just started talking a little bit ago and this man is a spoil me and just showing me things I never did before. And it's so exciting. I couldn't wait to see what was in store for the rest of my life because I knew I was going to marry him and I was not disappointed. He always comes through on the special days. I think we could do one more layer. Rokata, please. 
I guess you're really supposed to do like a little thin layer. It just depends. Like if you like you some cheese, you go ahead and put some cheese on there. It is, like I said, it is to your tasting. You cannot go wrong with what, how you like things. How someone gonna tell you, you wrong. I just put it on there like that. I don't do nothing special to it because we got all that flavor already in the sauce, in the meat, in the cheese. Like we got enough flavor. Mozzarella cheese, this all over. I love cheese. I probably shouldn't though because I'm lactose. So hubby don't like when I eat cheese, especially right before a bed. God be blowing him up. But we can mask in and ambience together. See, that's real love. Ha <laughs> ha! And your hubby can stay in the bed with you after you done ate some dairy, knowing your ass is lactose. See, some people put foil on here. I ain't never used no casserole dish before. But I'm gonna use the lid. I'm gonna use the lid, I'm gonna put it in there, in the oven on 350 for 15 minutes, and I'm gonna check it and see if it's cooking the right way. And if it's not, I'm gonna take the lid off, put some foil on it, and let it cook for another 15 minutes. But if it is cooking good, then I'm gonna put the lid back on and cook it for another 15 minutes. 30 minutes all together, so. Let's put it in the oven. I'll see y'all in 15. Why okay. did my nail just break, guys? Just broke. Right here. Like, why? I have a nail appointment in a couple of days. You couldn't just hold out? I'm so sad. Now I have to look. It's about to break all right here. <laughs> bye bye, nail. Ouch! I got little hearts for Valentine's Day. Yay! This is after the 15 minutes. What is that cheese is dangling? Not quite done. You know what? I'm gonna add some more cheese. Oh. Ooh. Don't you be breaking my stove. I decided to add some more cheese because I didn't like how I saw too much red seeping through. No, I need it to be cheesy. Um, it didn't melt the way that I wanted to either. So I'm thinking maybe that lid is probably too heavy. So I'm going to go ahead and add the foil on there and see if that makes a difference. And let it sit for 15 minutes. Five minutes left until lasagna is done. So we're going to go ahead and pop in our Texas cheese toast. Five to ten minutes. Now while waiting for that to cook, we can start on our Caesar salad. You can make any salad you want, but you know what, all that cheese, we all need some green to help that cheese go through, you know, and digest correctly. So let's make a little Caesar salad. It's romantic, it's easy, has more cheese. Let's do it. I know it says ready to eat, it's thoroughly washed, but I like to wash it again because I don't be trusting these people that be packaging packages. Okay, it's nice and washed. Lettuce. I'm just gonna lightly dressing the lettuce because hubby doesn't like too much dressing. And you don't wanna add a lot of dressing anyways because that's adding a lot of calories. So come on, come out. Yeah. Dab a little here and there. We're gonna sprinkle on some Parmesan cheese. Oh, my bread! I'm gonna sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. I'm not gonna do too much either. I hope we can always add more if we want. Why do trees stink so bad, but it tastes so good? Oh, we gotta use our wooden utensils. Don't, I'm not sure if these are the right ones to toss some salads, but we're gonna use them today, baby doll. Mixy, mixy. Okay, time to plate. What are you doing, folks? Yay! Oh no, that's not pretty. That's not pretty. Got some crouton. Mm -hmm. Bon appetit.
This is the closest I'm gonna get to red wine because your girl don't do real wine, but Stella always be busting. So, black cherry, Stella Rosa, it is. Pour in this cup. Fun fact about this cup is our second Valentine's Day. He took me on a gondola ride, my very first gondola ride. And it was so beautiful in San Diego. So I'm gonna use this to remind us of all the good Valentine's Day we had. Boom. Romantic dinner for my babe. Well, I'm gonna eat this plate because it's not Valentine's Day yet. That was just an idea of a romantic dinner that you can make for your lovey. But since it ain't Valentine's Day right now, I'm gonna eat this plate. He taking a nap. He can make his plate when he wake up. Okay? Okay. Mm. I'm a little sad. The lasagna was like all falling apart. But you know what? It still tastes delicious. It don't gotta be picture perfect. I'm no gourmet chef i'm now michelin star chef i miss a homemaker making a do with a do with what i got and making delicious loving food for my lovies for this valentine's day holiday but i hope you guys enjoyed that video today if you did go ahead and like and hit that subscribe button baby doll and don't forget to hit that bell so never miss any dope uploads right now i'm gonna go ahead and finish this meal and i will see you guys next time bye